Lauren Boebert just got caught in a bold-faced lie. And it's kind of hilarious. This is TYT Overruled, and I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. On Saturday, President Joe Biden signed a bipartisan deal raising the debt ceiling and averting a debt crisis. While Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert did not vote on the deal, claiming that it was in silent demonstration of some sorts. And she took to Twitter with this. Call it a protest. There's absolutely no way to ever justify adding another four to six trillion in debt. This is more DC self-created garbage that I will always fight against. Hey everyone, I am back in Colorado, but let's talk about DC. No excuses, I was ticked off. They wouldn't let me do my job, so I didn't take the vote. Once again, Washington's power machine shoved a multi-trillion dollar bill down our throats, refused to allow debate or amendments, disregarded everything we fought for in January to actually allow representatives to do their jobs. And instead, they served us up a crap sandwich. Call it a no-show protest, but I certainly let every one of my colleagues and the country know I was against this garbage of a bill and against bypassing the voice of each representative. Deals cut in the dark are why we are headed towards $36 trillion in debt, and I refuse to be a part of it. Perhaps Boebert should have thought twice before calling the debt ceiling a crap sandwich and claiming that she didn't show up in protest because there are receipts. After the gentlewoman from Colorado posted her message claiming that she had abstained from voting in rebellion, well, CNN associate producer Morgan Rimmer responded with this. Here is a clip from that night outside the Capitol showing Representative Boebert running up the stairs as though she was trying to make the vote and me telling her that it had closed already. They just closed it. They closed it? Yeah. Boebert was dying to be part of the so-called Freedom Caucus, hardline Republicans who voted no in rebellion, but Boebert clearly just came up short. Of course, the Congresswoman had no response, or at least she hadn't put me out there uh, at the time of filming. Jane Fullery aside, let's look at the deal that Biden and Congress got done. While the deal got done, it was done to the detriment of progressives. This is not a deal that upholds progressive values. It increases spending for defense and limits the pot of money for everything else, declared California Representative Ro Khanna, one of 46 House Democrats who voted against the agreement to temporarily suspend the federal government's borrowing limit in order to avoid the economic chaos that could extend from a default on payments. The deal was approved with little issue on a vote of 314 to 117, with around 150 members of both parties voting yes. With so many members of both parties voting for the deal, do you think that they made the right decision? Or should we have just let the default happen and figured it out in the future? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.